One of the problems that I have here is that I've been running this six gauge wire in here and what I'm going to be running is a four aught, which is absolutely massive. Let's see if I can get that to, to focus there. So the difference in the two is pretty substantial. That is hot, this is not. So I'll show you uh, the problem I'm running into. I'm gonna be coming out of my uh, breaker with this, I say my breaker, my, my main um, distribution panel coming from the uh, power pole um, into this box. And it's gonna come out of here. And as it gets in here, the problem is um, <laughs> the wire is too big and the hole is too small. What I've got to do is actually step this down. And they make little deals that like slide over here, kind of like this, that would slide over it, but then have like a, uh, I'm getting a phone call. Let me see if I can stop that. There we go. That slide over here and then have like the right size nipple sticking out. But it, they're pretty expensive and I can't actually find the right one. So instead, what I'm going to do is, this is difficult with one hand. Um, this is 2 watt cable, and that's 4 watt that I need. So I'm going to come in with the 4 watt and then go out with the 2 watt And then I'm going to heat shrink this with some really great heat shrink, which actually I bought here and it's I think 600 volts rated anyway um, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to heat shrink this and then I'm going to run the last foot or so with the 2 watt let me unscrew this I had it tight tightened down just a little bit so it wouldn't fall out. Then the deal with that is the 2 watt actually fits in there very snugly, but fits in it. And the voltage drop, I've calculated it and it should not be, it, it'll be it'll be negligible to go from here to basically this box. And the other side of this wall is where I'm gonna have this guy, which feels a bit excessive. Um, it's going to be coming through on this other side. And I think right here in this box is where I'm going to make my splice. So I'll, I'll come up, up out of my schedule 80, um, two inch pipe into this box and then I'll splice in and I'll come through here. And that'll also just allow me to be able to manage navigating inside this box a little easier because dang, the, this, uh, this four aught is crazy hard to deal with. So that is the goal for that. Well, I've made a mistake with my hole. Let me show you what I mean. It works great. The size is perfect for the PVC pipe, two inch, but what's supposed to go through this hole isn't the pipe, <laughs> it's this guy. And that is too big, dang it. But it gives me a good opportunity to show you something here. If you don't already know this, if you've got a hole saw and you've already cut the hole and you try to drill another one, it's gonna be wobbling all over the place because you don't have that center bit that's going in there right there. Now, how you fix this is super brilliant and super simple. I didn't come up with this. Is you actually put back on the smaller hole bit and then you slide this one on top. They nest together like that. And then instead of needing this, you've got the smaller uh, previous hole. And that actually locks in place and allows you to put your drill on there and cut the right size hole. I didn't have the exact size, so this is a little sloppy here. That's okay because I've got some caulking um, that's gonna fill it up real nice. All right, so 
I really love the way that this looks now with these big wires coming in here. Um, that one seems a little loose to me. I'm wondering, she's got some extra flex to it that I don't really love, but that's all right. Um, so we've got our neutral, we've got L1 and then L2. Um, so I've got this little piece of heat shrink right here that's gonna tell me that's the L2. I've also put some heat shrink here and some heat shrink there, uh, or L1 rather. At least that's the way I've got it going on here. I've got my red back over here, that's my L1. Um, and then red, black, red, black, red, black. All right, so got that going on. This is going outside and I'll show you what I've got on the other side. You can see I've got these conductors, um, wires, I don't know, I'm, I don't use the right terminology. Um, I hate that I actually like crimped in there and damaged um, that insulation a little bit, but um, I'm gonna actually have this giant heat shrink going over it, so we will be okay. Um, but this is what it looks like from the outside. I've got these guys here, which is just so much easier to work with than the 4 aught And then going down, I'll bring the 4 aught up through here and we will connect it in. Um, and these, these guys here blow the heat shrink over it. And then showing you where we're going, we've got this trench dug and got a door. <laughs> That is a big dog, right? Look at that. That's a full-size exterior door. He's huge. All right. Then, somewhere over here, it's collapsed, so I've lost it. But I believe it's right here. The wire, um, our underground wire coming from the power poles way up there underground wire coming from the power poles comes this way and then splits off and goes to the house. So what we're going to do is dig that up here eventually and um, cut into it and then we're going to take part of it back to the barn and then we're going to take our, our AC and that'll go to our AC in and then our AC out is going to come back this way connect back into it and then head to the house. All right, so here's what's going on. Now it's nighttime because daylight savings time and all that junk. Um, you'll hear some inverters humming because I've got one inverter going right here to power the barn. Because we disconnected our temporary line to the house and now we are actually, um, we've got these two watt cables that are coming through here and Yes, I know this is kind of crazy the way that we're doing it, but I think it works. Um, I believe it's probably not up to code, but at least I don't have exposed wires here. I've got each of these guys going through um, some small conduit that I had laying around, um, flexible conduit, whatever. Um, probably not the best idea <coughs> to use these retaining clips here, um, but I didn't want this thing wiggling all over the place. It's firm, but not too firm. I'm not like digging into it. So we've got that. Then we've got these guys. I love how clean this looks right here. Just shooting out the box right here. Um, this is just yeah, a drain fitting, I know, but that works. Um, I might at some point, like, I'll probably fill that with some foam. Um, I don't know, that might be a bad idea. Okay, thank you. Um, dinner's ready, so I gotta wrap this up. The reason it's we're still running in here off of the inverters is because um, all of these just poke outside and there's literally nothing but, uh, they're just poking out the wall and cut off. Tomorrow what I'm gonna do if all goes well is actually take what's going through the wall connect the 4 out to that, splice into the the main in the, the home, or the main power supply to the house, and I think we'll be up and running. I need to double check everything again, but I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna be going on. Um, everything looks good. I, I will still need to connect this AC, uh, AC in, 
um, to this inverter so that we can actually pass through um, all 17 or whatever it is, 18,000 18, watts. And I think that's pretty much it. So I think I'm gonna end it right here and uh, stay tuned for the next video.